Hola amigos y amigas, I am Leila, also known as Miss Bohemia here in a satin PJ top and I am freezing because it's really cold in San Francisco but I don't have any pretty PJ tops and today's video is all about bedtime specifically bonnets I've mentioned before that I sleep on a silk pillowcase I've tried satin before and I'm not the biggest fan of the how satin felt it didn't feel good to me and I switched over to silk tried the silk pillowcases from Lily Silk and I am in love. I'm so happy with my pillowcase and that was more than enough for a long while. Nothing really helps me in preventing having to refresh the next day. It really doesn't. I have to refresh whether I wear a scarf, whether I wear a bonnet, whether I'm sleeping on my silk pillowcase, my hair gets smushed, it gets completely bent out of shape and I need to refresh. You might be able to see my curls on my head but it's completely beyond any help and the refresh is needed but I've kind of fallen back down the bonnet rabbit hole because in spite of the fact that I sleep on a silk pillowcase I feel that I need that extra help from a bonnet right now especially because it's so cold in San Francisco that I'm bringing my covers up over my head a lot of the time and sometimes they stay here the whole night and so it is touching my hair it is rubbing my hair and it defeats the purpose of sleeping on a silk pillowcase if the rest of my hair is not protected. I have so many scarves that I wasted money on at the beginning of my healing hair journey. So let me show you those. This is a silk one that I got off Etsy from freaking Australia and I'm not gonna tell you the ridiculous amount of money I paid for it. No, I gotta hold on to some semblance of dignity. This is another silk one I got from Australia from the same seller super pretty i'm not gonna tell you how much i paid for it no and then these are some cheaper satin options that i got from amazon wow this one's humongous so these are the silk ones and these satin ones are more of the rectangular long scarves and then i have this cute one owl one that's a square oh wait yeah it is a square there's so many videos on the bedtime routines and different ways to tie the scarves. I feel that there's plenty of stuff you can find out there. My main thing and the reason that I'm going down the bonnet rabbit hole is A, sleeping in a bonnet has been more comfortable for me. I went down, as you can see, the scarf rabbit hole and it just... I don't know. Some nights I would get the scarf perfect and it felt fine. Other nights I totally would suck at how I tied it and... I would get irritated in the middle of the night and rip it off my head and so I found that just having something simple to slip on my hair was the easiest route to go for me. So I've been using this classic Evolve bonnet like so but then I got the itch to try other bonnets. Is there a better bonnet out there for me? Is there something I would like more? And I went down the bonnet rabbit hole on Amazon and I ordered four more and this is what they look like. And this one you tie. You get the gist of it. Back to normal. None of them worked. Where do I begin? None of them work for me. None of them. They're beautiful. They're all quality. That is amazing. I love how they feel. I wish I could keep them all. I really like every single one of them. I was really surprised by how cute the sleep cap was. It comes in a variety of colors. I love paisley. It felt good on. And then here, I liked that it had the elastic band because this is what happens. And this is where my issue lies. Look at this line, right? And this is where the edge of my hair is, my hairline. For it to be comfortable and stay on my head, especially when I lie down, this comes up to here. Do you see? And so this is also satiny material and still kind of gives my head that comfortable feeling and it's perfect it works really well for me the problem with this is that when it's here at the line it kept falling down my head it's adjustable you can adjust it i tried adjusting it in so many different ways and it still fell down and the only way for me to get any of these to stay on my head is to put it up here you know so that's the issue i had with every single one this one has the band i thought it would be more like the evolve and i wouldn't have that issue and 
it would feel loose and it would just fall down to my eyes over there and cover my eyes. Same issue with this. I feel that if I was to delve down the bonnet rabbit hole again, it would mainly be to get something with a different design, but that's structured exactly as this bonnet. And that's why this one wins and works on my hair better than the rest. Because this one is also pretty, but same situation. So I don't know. And I think I'm stuck with this kind of bonnet and scarves. That's what works for me. That's my very short to the point bonnet takeaway. This world of protecting my hair when I sleep is super new to me. I've been natural my whole life, but I haven't always done it right. And I started <laughs> caring about how I slept in 2019. Any advice, any takeaways, any things you have to comment on? Do you have the same issues that I do? Is there a way that you made it work? Because having a wider variety of cute bonnets would be really fun. But right now, as is, I'm going to be returning these because they don't work for me and I'm sticking with my Evolve. Is this video even worth posting? <laughs> I mean, I feel that so much has already been said about bonnets and why you want them, but the very basic gist, and I guess I should have started with this, is to protect your hair. It's great for the hair. It helps prevent breakage. It keeps it more moisturized because cotton and other materials tend to be moisture suckers and absorbent materials, and these are not... And so keeping the hair happy and moisturized and not having a rough surface for it to rub up against, you're not going to have as many issues as you would with breakage and dry, brittle hair, etc. Provided that you're taking care of your hair in other ways with your diet, nutrition, deep conditioning and all of that. That's what I should have said at the beginning of the video. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like this is kind of a last minute little video, but I just kind of wanted to share my pretty bonnets before I return them because I really love every single one of them. I will link to them below because if you can enjoy beautiful bonnets like these, then I will live it vicariously through you. But any bonnet tips that you have, I'm not kidding. Let me know. And if you're in the same situation as I am and have good tips for pretty bonnets, evolved style, let me know. And that was it. Short, sweet, to the point. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you like what you see, please like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And stay tuned for more. Ciao for now.